Isn't it cool that your boyfriend can just tattoo you? Mm -hmm. All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the vlog. So, recently, I don't know if we told y'all or not, but, well, first of all, I'll go ahead and start out with that. He is an artist. He draws a lot of stuff. Earlier, he drew a shark on my foot. I would show you, but it's no longer there because I wiped it off. But anyway, so he's an artist, and obviously, we both have plenty of tattoos. I have a lot more, but I just had to throw that in there. Uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> but anyway, so we decided that he is going to get a tattoo machine and start tattooing. So we're going to take all the safety precautions first. We'll put in all the research and making sure how to prevent every contamination stuff and everything. Make sure nothing bad happens. Um, so it's been a couple weeks since we ordered everything and he finally got everything delivered today. Like we all got it at the same time. Um, I'll go ahead and show y'all. This is right here is his tattoo gun with the needle in there. Um, this is his ink, he has a big bottle of ink. Check that out y'all. And then he's setting his ink cartridge of things there. <laughs> We're gonna start off by tattooing a banana. Because I say it's one of the best fruits to learn on, because like you'll know if you're going too deep if like the actual banana gets ink in it. So he's gonna start practicing on that. He's gonna draw like probably I don't know something easy on there and to get used to how it feels and everything. And don't worry, I will wear gloves when I'm actually tattooing, but because it's on a fruit right now. Actually, I'll probably still put gloves on because I don't want to get ink on myself. Yeah, y'all. So we're gonna take all the safety precautions, make sure everything is safe, sanitary, clean before we do anything. Especially if he does start tattooing skin. We want to make sure we prevent everything, so... Which will be a while. Yeah, uh, so we got plenty of Red Bulls, plenty of ink, and plenty of free skin and bananas and fruits. How many fruits did you buy? Uh, seven. We got seven different fruits, y'all, so he's well, gonna get... Well, we have three bananas, four oranges. Alright, so we got seven fruits, so he's gonna get some <laughs> good practice in tonight. And if he feels comfortable, he's gonna tattoo his own thigh first. Like, just kind of a little thing to see, like how it feels on skin and then I might let him tattoo me tonight. See how good or bad he does. But I have a lot of faith in him. I think he's gonna do pretty good because he can draw really well, y'all. I don't know if I've, we've ever showed his drawings on here before. No, we're not good. But he draws really good, so yeah. How do you feel after tattooing your first banana? <laughs> I feel good. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, the only hard thing is knowing how far to go. Like how deep to go into the skin. Alright y'all, so he has tattooed like two or three different fruits so far. He's starting to get a little comfortable with how to actually tattoo and everything so we decided we're gonna he's gonna get ready and do like a little triangle on his leg to kind of see how it feels going to the skin so he's got his gloves on and everything oh i'm nervous and we gotta go a little deep though too I think I need more ink. I'm nervous, babe. I know. Does it hurt? It stings. Can you kind of like feel like how deep you're going though? Yeah. It's the ink, I need more ink. There we go. Oh, so you gotta wipe it too, remember. Yeah. How do you feel after tattooing yourself for the first time? I'm excited, it's still not deep enough or thick enough, so I'm gonna keep going. <sighs> All right, y'all, so he's been tattooing for a while and He's gonna get ready and draw the stencil for a tattoo on my leg. 
which y'all know my kind of leg is some random tattoos. He's gonna get ready and draw the stencil on my leg, and then he's gonna tattoo it. So I will show y'all what the actual tattoo is when he's finished. We're gonna get the stencil drawn on and then get the tattoo going. So I just finished my actual first tattoo and so I think it went pretty well. There are a few things I need to improve on, um, such as the line work, if you can see, he'll show you in the video, but the lines are a little messy. That is partly due to because I only have a thin needle, so I had to go over those lines multiple times and that probably just made it a little less, what, like less clean. But other than that, I'm, I'm happy with it, it was fun. I'm happy Eric let me try to do it on him, but we'll see how it turns out tomorrow. See if he's in fact not joking. He's All not right. going to be that you're going to cut the part out. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is tattooing compared to regular drawing? Um, do you think it's easier or harder? No, it's definitely harder. So it's harder because you can't really feel where you're drawing. Like the needle may be at this point. My hands are all dirty, but the needle, needle may be like at this point. You may see the needle here, but it ends up drawing here. Mm -hmm. So you have to like hover above the skin pretty much and just listen for the sound of the needle to hit the skin. All right, y'all. So it's been almost a week since we did the tattoos on my leg. Um, I didn't show you the video of him doing this tattoo right here because we kind of forgot to record it. And, and it's... it's not finished yet and um, we still have to add these rings and everything but um i'll go ahead and straighten the legs so it looks better but this tattoo is healing pretty good this is the first one actually the real first one we did y'all yeah we never is, showed them is this little smiley face right here this is the first one he did on me because he was just seeing how it felt to do a tattoo on me that's the first one he did and it actually kind of turned out really nice I mean, it's kind of weird and random but <laughs> So are these. <laughs> and then the little plankton looking guy right here. Um, I mean, I can't really see from the angle I'm at, but from my angle, it looks pretty good. We'll get his input in a second. And this guy, um, I think this one is really well done in here. The rings aren't done yet, so I'm not going to really... I think they're done nicely, but I'm not going to comment on them totally because they're not finished yet. But I think this one turned out really good. Um, I'm really impressed with... How, much, how good he was able to do for like his first kind of few days of actually tattooing. Um, but overall, as you could say his client or whatever, or the, the victim here, <laughs> um, I think he did really good and I'm really impressed with how he tattooed. All right, so how do you feel that you did with your first tattoos? Um, I felt pretty good. I know that the line work needs to be better but I did order some thicker needles, so hopefully I won't have to have that problem anymore. And I just gotta keep practicing. I ordered some fake skin as well, some fake skin as well, so I can practice. I wanna tattoo more people, but I feel like it's smarter for me to practice. But overall, I think it did pretty good. Um, Eric was a hard person to tattoo, because every time I hurt him, I felt bad. It was harder than I expected, if I'm being honest, but, you know, I'm still getting there. It was first day, second day, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna let you show them on my tattoos what you think your 
First, you're gonna show what your flaws were, like the things you think that you did the worst that you need to improve on, and then the things you think you did really good. Okay. And that can only get better. Okay. So what do you think you could have done better on, on that tattoo? So for this guy, um, let me zoom in a little bit if I can get to focus. So you can look at the line work. The line work is a little uneven, it's a little thicker in places and a little thinner in other places. Um, it also is a little scattered, as in like the lines aren't exactly straight. But other than that, I mean, the line work is the main thing. Other than that, it should be pretty good. At least I think it is, but I, I mean, I'm biased. This one, same thing. I gotta just work on the line work, work on the thickness. It did get a little thicker right here in this area, which I'm hoping I could fix whenever I put in the um, the lines around the ring. Hopefully I can shade it a little bit and fix it. I am gonna add more dots on this one as well, just to shade it a little more. But other than that, yeah, same problem. Just the line work, make it same thickness, and just keep it even. Oh, I felt like this one was okay. I didn't go too far into the skin, which is great, because I didn't want to cause him any issues. Trauma to the skin. Exactly. Um, I think it, I mean, it looks exactly like the picture that I got, so other than that, I mean, it's, I think it's, I personally think it's pretty good. This one, I like that the dotting looks very good. The shading looks decent, but I'm going to work on that more. And it was just kind of a fun tattoo to do. And this one. My favorite one, um, <laughs> just because it was very simple. <laughs> I couldn't mess that up. All right, y'all. So I'm currently editing the video right now, and I know like two seconds ago I said that the tattoos looked really great, but like as I'm editing these, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm looking at these tattoos, and they look a little lopsided. It's not his fault, but. I think it's really funny. I mean, I'm sure he'll be able to fix it, but, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. They both kind of look a little weird. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, watching him learn how to get, or learn how to tattoo, and me get tattooed, <laughs> and the great work he did on my leg and my thigh. <laughs> but... Hopefully, as he practices on more fruits and legs and whatever else he tattoos on. My own leg. Yeah. And other people, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, as he gets more practice, he'll start getting more better and able to actually do some cool stuff like this one day. That's kind of, I think, is his goal to be able to do a lot of stuff like that. Um, but... Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, that's about it, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Adios. No.